Your fragrances are not lasting long? Well, here's why. One of the most common mistakes people make when having a nice sexy fragrance collection, we tend to store these fragrances in bad location. One of the bad locations that we tend to store these fragrances are like windows, all right? When you store your fragrances by the window, the fragrance is gonna receive direct sunlight and this is gonna cause the fragrance to get damaged over time. And eventually the longevity and performance on the fragrance will be no more. So the second worst place you can store your fragrances are technically in the bathroom because the bathroom is always gonna be a temperature change when people People are taking hot showers and this is also going to damage your fragrance over time. So a way to fix this issue, you want to make sure you store your fragrances in a nice cool temperature controlled environment. This could be your drawer, this could be a closet, or you could potentially keep your fragrances in the original box. Another thing, if you're really hardcore, you can place your fragrances in a refrigerator. Well, and that's only if you're hardcore. Core. So this leads me to reason number two. Potentially, you potentially purchased your fragrance and the fragrance was already expired, all right? Or potentially you already have a fragrance that's already expired in your collection. And now this can affect, of course, the longevity of your fragrance because the fragrance is no longer what it used to be. A good way to verify this, you, could, you can go to a website like Fragrance Check or Fresh Check punch in your batch code, your brand of the fragrance, and this is gonna give you the date of when the fragrance was manufactured. Now, the fragrance lifespan is about five to 10 years. So within that ballpark, you can verify if your fragrance is expired. Another way to verify this, you can actually smell your fragrance, and if the fragrance smells a little weird, then most likely your fragrance is expired. So now we're up to reason number three, and another mistake people tend to do is purchase fragrances for not legit website. And we're talking about like Wish, all right? You cannot purchase a fragrance from Wish and think you're rocking a nice Creed Aventus for $20. It doesn't work that way. If the price doesn't look right, then most likely it's a fake, all right? So if you wanna purchase fragrances and you want it from a legit source, I personally recommend fragrance net fragrance x fragrance usa you have twisted lily german shop and even a fragrance buy these are where i normally get my fragrances and these are legit sources so here's another common issue that normally happens when people rocking fragrances sometimes the fragrance is performing it's projecting it's smelling amazing but what happens is we tend to go nose blind and as a quick example i have here is baccarat rouge 540 when i rock this fragrance it's always projecting it's always smelling good i'm always getting compliments but guess what i don't smell the fragrance so what happens is i think the fragrance is no longer there but it is a good way to verify this you can ask somebody around you and ask if they smell you if they say yes, then your boy, you're still killing it tonight. So another issue that goes on in the fragrance industry is reformulation, all right? Sometimes when the fragrance is first released, it has the best concentration that gives the fragrance the best longevity and performance all around. Throughout the years, the fragrance do get reformulated and no longer has that same performance. A good example is like Creed Aventus once again. That fragrance used to be the king of fragrance, but the fragrance got reformulated several times. So now it does not perform as good as it used to. So we have other alternatives that will replace that fragrance itself. So make sure to be aware of reformulation, all right, as this can affect the longevity of your fragrance. So now one of the biggest mistakes that people tend to do in the fragrance industry when applying their fragrances is they tend to spray their fragrances on their wrist, rub it in between both wrists, and then rub in with their necks. And what this does is you're destroying the fragrance. And first of all, you don't even have enough fragrance oil on your body to even let the fragrance last long or even project. You're just straight up destroying the fragrance. But before telling you how to apply your fragrances, make sure you stay watching this video because I will provide you with five amazing tips to make your fragrance last longer. So make sure when you're applying your fragrance, so you're applying your fragrances on all your pose points. And these pose points are located on your wrist, back of your ear, and even on the front of your neck, all right? Those are pretty much your pulse points. Now to add a bit of a nice sexy scent trail, you can add your fragrance in the back of your neck if you're looking for people to smell you when you're walking by and potentially chase you and give you a nice, sexy compliment. So these are the places you wanna apply your fragrances if you're looking to make your fragrance last longer and project. So now that we went over those mistakes that you're making, allow me to provide you about five tips to make your fragrances last 
longer. So tip number one is to make sure you're using like lotion or Vaseline to help your fragrance perform, all right? And the best time to do this is when you come out the shower, apply the lotion or Vaseline so you can trap in the moisture. And after you're ready, you can start applying the fragrance and this is gonna help your fragrance last longer throughout the night and get those compliments going. Another good location you can apply your fragrances that I personally recommend is on your clothes. When you rock your fragrance on your clothes, they tend to last a lot longer than on skin. You can easily get about 24 to 48 hours when applying your fragrances on your clothes. But be selective with the fragrance you're selecting. Don't go with anything that is too dark as those will stain your clothes. Go with something that's a bit lighter, like a Prada Loam or something in those department as those won't really stain your clothes, but it's gonna have you smelling amazing. So tip number three, if you can get yourself a nice travel atomizer, that'll be a good way to go about the situation because you can carry the fragrance pretty much anywhere you go. If you feel that your fragrance is, is finally fading away, it has been six hours, then guess what? Bring out the travel atomizer and reapply and now your boy is smelling good. So if you're not looking to travel with a travel atomizer, a good way to approach this is apply your fragrances later in the day, all right? So if you're getting ready to leave the house around 8.30, then guess what? Apply your fragrance around 8.30, so that way when you go out and about, your fragrance is still kicking. Don't wear your fragrance at 6 and then leave your house at 8.30 because then you're only potentially going to have about 4 hours of that longevity on your fragrance. And for tip number 5, you can purchase a higher concentration if available for the fragrance. In theory, um, you have your eau de toilette, your eau de parfum, and your parfum concentration. Parfum being your highest concentration, so that means this fragrance should last longer. As your eau de toilette is your lowest concentration, but it should project more in theory. But if you're looking for lost, lasting power, go for the Parfum Concentration. So as a bonus tip, you can wear Molecule 01 as this fragrance has ISO E Super and this alone will help your fragrance perform a lot better. Alright, so if you're in the market to purchase another fragrance to make your fragrance better, then check out Molecule 01. And if you need fragrances to help you get compliments, well then check this video right here as I will provide you with those fragrances. See you on the next video.